Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Massive news in the world of rugby today with an apparent £800 million bid from Qatar being considered by World Rugby to potentially create what is being dubbed the Super Bowl of Rugby. Basically, Qatar is looking at trying to win the rights to host the World Rugby's Nations Championship uh, with the first edition set for 2026 which will then happen every two years. It'll take place between uh, the top 12 teams in the world, between sort of Sanzar and Six Nations. And apparently at this stage, uh, the bid is to potentially have this tournament being played in Qatar with the sum of 800 million pounds being guaranteed in revenue for Six Nations and Sanzar for the first four editions of the final series, which will take up to eight years to complete. Lots to break down. So before we do that, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Right, so we all know that World Rugby have been looking at this Nations Championship, sort of Nations League type of concept. Basically a way of giving more importance uh, to sort of your mid-year, end-of-year uh, series, for example, and by sort of creating a tournament type of vibe. Now, there's multiple different sort of uh, formats that this has sort of been developing into you know one was for example just a a, a pure sort of final six nations champion uh, you know rugby championship champion to become the champion of the world type of thing um there's then there's also sort of the club world cup that's currently happening um and and set to happen in a few years time so this nation's championship uh the actual sort of format is not entirely uh conclusive but basically uh it will be played during the july and november international windows um, with the Six Nations team touring to the Southern Hemisphere for three tests every other summer before hosting three matches in November. The idea is that there will then be basically a finals series, um, which will then take place in Qatar. And uh, there's going to be a first division, which is going to have 12 teams, and a second division, which we run, both these being one run by World Rugby. Uh, sorry, so the Six Nations and... Um, yeah, it'll all be run, run by, 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 by World Rugby, but it'll be the Six Nations and Sanzo, um, plus two further unions in the top 12, and in the next sort of 12, basically. Um, and the idea is um, that Qatar have pitched to host this, and uh, they're apparently they're, it's, their sort of pitch has been preferred. Uh, you know, it sounds like IMG uh, have put in the table as well, uh, table an offer as well, uh, or an offer, a rival offer, basically, but um, that World Rugby is apparently pursuing the Qatar option. Now, the Qatar bid is being done by the Qatar Supreme Committee for Delivery and Legacy. Um, apparently, they have pitched the idea to all 12 nations that will compete in the Nations Championship top division uh, last month and have now been in, uh, granted an exclusive two-month negotiation period. Um, according to the report that's been released um, by the Telegraph, uh, it is being dubbed the Super Bowl of Rugby, and they're basically proposing a three-day sporting festival at multiple events, uh, venues in Doha, where the 2022 FIFA World Cup was final was hosted. Um, as I said, in terms of financial, 800 million pounds. That's what it's going to cost to, uh, you know, to to get this event to Qatar. That is what they are proposing. Uh, now, obviously, in terms of World Rugby's involvement of this. Um, they are in talks with this, um, but the final decision will be taken by the Six Nations Rugby and Sanzar boards. Um, and they will run the first division of the Nations Championship, and then World Rugby will exclusively run the second division. Um, apparently, as expected, there's been quite a lot of uh, backlash towards it, uh, both internally as well as obviously from a fan perspective, a lot of backlash. Similar sort of things we had to the Qatar World Cup, you know, the, the human rights issues, for example, um, you know, the travel concerns for fans, uh, you know, player welfare. Now adding more uh, fixtures to to a calendar. Um, the big thing I think is obviously the fads and and sort of this whole idea of sports washing and, and you know that's what sort of the big thing is at the moment. You know you've got Live Golf and sort of the Saudi League and everybody's sort of talking about how this is all sort of sports watching. You know nations who have got bad human rights records throwing money at sport to try and you know gain favor in the world and try and sort of up their reputation. Uh, so is this another example of sports washing? Well, that's what I want you guys to to comment down. Um, but it's it's a very Bizarre concept, isn't it? You know, for the top twelve nations to go to Qatar to play a three-day, you know, rugby festival, uh, what it should be deemed like probably the biggest thing apart from the World Cup being hosted in Qatar. You don't really play rugby, um, so it's a very, very interesting concept because rugby is historically, you know, struggling money-wise. Supposedly, you know, that's why all these various different ideas and and rules and stuff like that. They're trying to grow themselves uh, revenue-wise. You know, the English Premiership is struggling, for example. Um, and some unions are very much struggling and uh, yeah, at the end of the day 
money talks. So 800 million pounds, what's almost a billion pounds, is going to gain a lot of favor with a lot of unions with regards to what this money and cash injection could do. The question is, is this the case of selling your soul? You know, has rugby sold its soul uh, if they were to pursue this idea? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. We'll obviously have a bit more information as this starts to pan out. So we'll keep you updated with exactly what's going on. Um, with regards to my sort of feelings, I don't really like it. Um, you know, I think, again, it is very commercial. It is very, um, very much just, you know, I, I think it is a case of rugby being bought to a certain degree. I don't want to go to Qatar to watch, you know, the world's this, this sort of Super Bowl of rugby. I don't think we need a Super Bowl of rugby. Um, I think the World Cup is is fantastic. I think, you know, we've got a lot of innovations happening. For example, there's All Blacks tour to South Africa. That's kind of happening. So there's so many different things at the moment. I kind of feel at the moment it's kind of innovation for the sake of, innovation you know the club rugby world cup for example the rugby champion the nation's championship now these these tours you know we've they basically decided rugby needs reform and we're now just going in three four five different directions and there just doesn't seem to be any plan any sort of long-term vision any sort of alignment either between the various nations in terms of this is what we need to do this is what's going to grow rugby is it financially feasible? How do we make it financially feasible? How do we make it better for the fans? And I think this is another big point. Do fans want to go to Qatar to watch rugby? Probably not. I don't. I don't I'm not sitting there thinking, oh, you know what would be really, really cool is to go and watch a three-day rugby show Ganza in Qatar. The idea of a final series, you know, it, it probably would be cool. Um, I think maybe it's almost too much rugby. I mean, you're going to be looking at six matches in three days, two matches a day. You know, is that a bit of uh, too congested to not really sort of enjoy it? Um, how is it going to work from a format point of view? Or is it going to be literally a case of, you know, the top four, you take this, you know, the, the, the long positions and those six nations, the rugby championship, or I suppose it's going to be a point system when you look at the various sort of different tours, stuff like that. And then what are you talking about, you know, rankings and then first versus second, third, fourth, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a bit of a weird thing in terms of how the format might look. Um, but I do think that this is very much, you know, just such a big financial ploy without a lot of thought given to the everyday fan, the players themselves, and the sport in general in terms of how you want to grow the sport. Are we growing the sport by taking the sport to Qatar? I don't think Qatar is suddenly going to become this massive rugby playing nation. You know, I don't see them even doing like a similar thing to Saudi Arabia, where they're going to suddenly put this massive rugby league and then we're going to have Finn Russell, Asir Khaleesi, you know, um, the Barrett brothers all playing in Qatar. So it's just a bit of a strange one for me. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash the like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.